सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द टॉपिक्स ऑफ सर्क्यूलर कन्वोल्यूशन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फ्यू ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद दो सेट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ सर्क्यूलर कन्वोल्यूशन बट इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स ओके वेर वी आर गोइंग टू कम विद न्यू टर्म्स दैट इज डेल्टा ऑफ एन ओके दिस इज नॉट रो okay this is delta in this uh, digital signal processing it is this is represented as delta okay so now what is this delta oh, before that uh, okay let's read the question first then i'll tell you what is that delta okay so again guys uh, please uh, those who are new to this video refer our previous videos which are where we have solved uh, uh, we have started with this digital signal processing all the topics dfts idfts Uh, matrix method, formula method, circular convolution, everything we have covered. So those who are new to this video, please check our playlist and uh, watch all that videos. Then come and watch this video because you won't be understanding anything if you uh, start from here. Okay? So yeah. So those who are regular, you can continue watching. So yeah, let's read the question now. Let x of n be the sequence. X of n is given as x of n is equal to delta of n plus two delta of n minus two plus delta of n minus three. The sub questions are find four point DFT of this sequence x of n. Second sub question is if y of n is the four point CC of x of n, the CC stands for circular convolution. Okay, four point CC of x of n with itself find y of n and four point DFT y of k. Okay, so what is this statement says that four point CC of x of n with itself? It means that whatever the sequence x of n we uh, we have right. and whatever we do, uh, uh, in circular convolution what we do we take its dft and whatever answer we get we will be multiplying with the another sequence answer and doing the point to point multiplication but here in this case whatever answer we get of this sequence that answer we should be doing multiplying it with itself okay that is whatever answer we got that only we should be multiplying again and that we should be doing point to point multiplication after that we should be taking its uh, idft and solving for circular convolution okay so now all of this is okay but where is the sequence in the question the sequence is not there only they have given this equation here but how to using this equation how to write the sequence okay for delta of n where this delta of n is called as unit sample response okay this delta of n is called as unit sample response don't forget keep it in your mind So now, what does what is this uh, what is this unit sample response? And using this equation, how to write the sequence? That is, unit sample response would be of the order of n, n minus one, n minus two, n minus three. So this is the sequence of unit sample response, and it goes on. Okay. Now here, you can consider it as delta of n. Delta of n minus one, delta of n minus two, delta of n minus three. It is one and the same. Okay. So now, in order to write the sequence, you should be checking these these terms as coefficient in the particular equation. That coefficient you should be writing in a form of sequence. For example, for this question only, let us consider. Okay, x of n. It starts with delta of n. So here in this case. This is delta of n. It is starting from delta of n only, so that would be our first term. That is the coefficient of this delta of n. That is one, right? So that is the first term one, comma. So here after delta of n, we know that uh, in the sequence the next term would be delta of n minus one. But we don't have any term here delta of n minus one, so that's why its coefficient would be zero, comma. Next term is delta of n minus two. Its coefficient is two. Plus two, so here we have plus n, so plus two. Then in the next we order we have delta of n minus three. Its coefficient is plus one. Understood, right? In this way we should be writing the sequence whenever the question is of unit sample response delta of n. The in this order uh, the sequence would be delta of n, delta of n minus one, n minus two, n minus three, and goes on. Okay, we should be checking for its coefficient and we should be writing the equation. Okay, so now we got this. Uh, Equation here, nothing much to do. Already I have told you the procedure how, about how to solve, right? This sequence is DFT. You take 
whatever answer we get the answer with itself should be multiplying do the point to point multiplication and whatever answer we obtain from that take its idft and find the circular convolution okay yeah without wasting any time let's solve it fast first is dft x of k that is 1 0 2 1 1 okay i prefer you guys to do with the matrix method okay sometimes they would be mentioning in the question specifically that is either you should be doing either using matrix method or formula method okay that time you should be doing but if they won't uh, they won't be mentioning but if still if they mention it do it that way but if they won't mention it i suggest you all to do it using matrix method only okay yeah so one one this is again four cross four matrix so that's why i'm writing it 1j 1j again i'm telling you guys those who are new new to this video they won't be understanding anything that why i wrote like this why i am putting this minus sign here 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 because you don't know because you have not seen the video before so that's why please guys please watch those videos again there is no time for me to explain it okay yeah so now let's multiply so first uh, call of row would be 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 since we are multiplying it with 1 The next is one ones are one plus zero minus two plus j. Then we have one plus zero plus two minus j. Then we have one plus zero minus two minus. J. Okay. The answer we get is two plus one plus one four minus two plus one minus one. Plus J. Then we have. Uh, oh, this is one, right? Or oh, minus one? Okay. So one minus one zero. So we are left with two. So one minus two minus one minus J. So this answer we got. We should be multiplying with itself. Okay. With itself means again we should be multiplying with it. That is, we should be taking its square. So Y of K is equal to. Four minus one plus j, two minus one minus j into with itself that is four minus one plus j, two minus one minus j. That is equal to four four the sixteen minus one plus j into minus one plus j. Okay. Minus one plus i. Minus one plus i. That is minus two j. Then we have two two is a four. Minus one minus j minus one minus j. Change it here only. Plus two j. So this is the sequence which we have got after multiplication. So now for this, take the IDFT and solve for y of n. That is four points. So one by four. Sixteen minus two j four. 2j, so IDFT so 1111. So here, second and fourth columns are interchanged. So this is minus minus. So here. Sixteen minus two j plus four plus two j. Sixteen minus two j into j. So minus two j square. So j square is minus one. So that is plus two. Minus four. Minus two. Then we have sixteen. Plus two j plus four minus two j sixteen minus two j into minus j that is minus two since uh, minus two j square so j square is minus one so minus two yeah. Minus four minus two. So our final answer, we would be getting uh, it as
y of n is equal to 1 by 4 into Twenty, sixteen, twenty, eight. So that is y of n is equal to divide by four. Twenty by four is five. Sixteen by four four. Twenty by four five. Eight by four two. So this is our final answer of y of n. Okay. So in this way we should be solving whenever they give the question regarding to the unit sample response. Okay. Using circular convolution. So this was the one simple question. So now let's get to the next question. Okay. Yeah. So this is one more kind of question. Where here in place of delta of n we have now u of n. Okay. U of n, not mu. This is u. Okay. And this u of n stands for unit step response. Okay. Delta of n was unit sample response. This is unit step response. So now, what is this unit step response? Let's discuss it in detail. First, let's read the question. Here, they have asked only to evaluate the circular convolution. Y of n is equal to x of n. Circulate circular convoluted with n h of n, where they have given two sequences x of n and h of n. That is, x of n is u of n minus u of n minus four. H of n is u of n minus u of n minus three, and they have given to be assuming the length of the sequence as 8 that is we should be converting these two sequences into the length of the sequences as 8 numbers right yeah but before that what is this u of n how to find out the sequence let us see so unit step response means in this case whatever the sequence we get right whatever may be the sequence the number would be strictly less than 1 okay the number in that particular sequence is strictly less than 1 that is uh, less than or equal to 1 yeah that is it is either 0 or 1 okay what in the, the sequence numbers would be right, right that is either 0 or 1 because it is unit step response so first there uh, we should be drawing plotting the graphs for the whenever they ask these kind of questions okay that is 1 is u of n let's plot the graph of u of n that is like this let's plot the graph u of n this is u of n and this is n okay and they have given the length of the sequence as 8 so point some 8 points here like this one random 8 points you plot then the amplitude would be always 1 okay it would won't be greater than 1 and like this would be our unit step response plot okay general plot of u of n okay won't be exceeding till 1 from all the 8 points draw like this plot then draw one more plot of u of n minus 4 okay Again put some uh, 8 points here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So now how to plot this u of n minus 4 plot? Nothing much, very simple. So here they have mentioned it as u of n minus 4, okay. If they mention it as u of n minus 4, you should be going four steps front and start your pl plotting start your uh, pulse train from there that is if they have mentioned here n minus 4 so start from 4 and do rest all the plots okay up to infinity how much ever okay this is for u of n minus 4 the amplitude is strictly 1 if the how many number did they mention from that number you should be start plotting and our resultant plot x of n how it would be looking is I will be drawing only for one this uh, this equation only plot okay this equation you should be uh, uh, recognizing by your own okay I am telling you the uh, procedure nothing much to do the x of n plot is in the question what they have given u of n minus u of n minus 4 so from each point you should be in my, uh, subtracting the amplitudes okay not 
keep in mind subtracting the amplitudes of from each point okay so there are eight points right so that is zero one two three four five six seven eight points so this eight is not necessary okay subtract the amplitudes that is first is this is one minus zero right so this is our first plot one then again one minus zero this is zero right amplitude is zero one minus zero one again 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 so this is our final plot of x of n so whatever is the amplitude we get that only would be our sequence simple as that that is 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 okay 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 okay here you can see that the length of the sequence is 8 and also we have got this sequence of x of n okay like this you should be doing similarly for h of n now I will be directly writing the sequence you should be understanding how I got this 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 because in the question they have given u of n minus u of n minus 3 this is the u of n plot u of n minus 3 means the uh, the plot would be starting from here now okay and it goes on till 7 and our final h of n plot would be 1 minus 0 1 1 1 so here it is 3 minus 3 it is 0 right so this would be 0 and all this would be 0 so 1 1 1 followed by 5 zeros okay like this you should be identifying the plots here hope you understood this i won't be repeating it again i have explained it in a very clear manner now nothing much to do do the circular convolution since they have only asked to evaluate circular convolution they have not mentioned using dft and idft okay yeah one matrix you should be rotating rotating it fully but it is not required because we have your zeros right so uh, check for the sequence which has more number of zeros so that we, uh, the matrix writing would be easier. So here this, is, this has more number of zeros. So try to write this matrix. That is 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0. We should be uh, rotating it 3 times because here we have only 3 1's and all 5 are zeros. Okay. 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0. 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 into 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 okay hope you understood this why i've done it then do the similar matrix multiplication that is 1 plus 0 plus 0 1 plus 1 plus 0 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 so here is uh, whatever uh, the terms are there here only right that only you do plus plus because here we are uh, as since we are multiplying it with 1 only here all three terms are 1 so that is 0 plus 1 plus 1 0 plus 0 plus 1 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 0 0 so our final sequence would be 1 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 3 2 1 0 0 so this is our final sequence of circular convolution okay whenever they, the question they would be giving of unit step response in this way you should be solving it this is very important question guys please make a note of it so that's all guys that's all for this session i have solved two important kinds of problems based on circular convolution using unit step response as well as unit sample response when where they won't be they won't be giving you the sequence directly so that's all for this session guys please like this video your like would be motivating us like this video guys share this video to a huge number that's all guys thank you